barbecue. It's gross the way she flirts with him. I know, it's pathetic. What barbecue? It annoys me how these girls always jump to conclusions. It's like, why can't you think positive for a change? Like, maybe it's a communal barbecue. Maybe it's a mutual friends barbecue. You know, it could be anything. Don't, my sister always tells me, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Um, so yeah, until you know the facts, think positive. Phil's family's throwing a big party this weekend. Very upscale. Anyone who's anyone is invited. And yet Christy is not, so don't worry Stevie, you're on the same playing, playing level as Christy because Christy ain't invited either. <laughs> Calm down. It's his parents' party. Phil probably had nothing to do with it. Yeah, right. How come he totally ignored me? He didn't even see you. It amazes me like in a stable where you hear all these sounds that you just assume that, that one there's something wrong. How do you not know it's just someone else's horse in the yard? It's amazing how they just assume, oh something's wrong, I better run out. You know, if I was in a stable, which I've done many many times, and I heard that sound, I wouldn't be running to the yard to see if there was something wrong. Because I hear those sounds all the time. Yeah, if she had untacked her, it would have been another story, but she didn't untack her, so that's the... <laughs> Remember what she did to Cobalt? She's going to do the same thing to Garnet. Oh no, she's not. There's no way Garnet was going to get away with this. It's sort of like you're putting on nail polish. Yeah, but this stuff stinks. She didn't have any on her brush. Like, that stuff stains your brush. You will never get it out no matter how many times you clean it. <laughs> and as a horse rider, I can't help but comment on that, that they weren't really doing the horse's hooves. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a nitpicker. Smell. Yuck. Are you sure that's good for you? Yes. Were you planning on untacking Garnet, or were you just going to leave her standing out there all day? It's not my problem. Ask the stable hands. It's their job. Two things. One, why was Veronica your first point of contact? Surely you would have gone to Max, Mrs. Reg, anybody else to let them know Veronica's fault. And two, it is your responsibility. It is your horse. It's not a school horse. And if it was a school horse, it's your responsibility for the time being that you are riding it. From 9 o'clock till, I don't know, 11 o'clock. That horse is in your property. You will sign a waiver or your parents will sign a waiver that says that. It is your responsibility and all that sort of thing. You sign waivers when you go to adjustments and riding schools. It is your responsibility. Why has no one taught her this? Ugh. We found her running loose in the riding ring. She could have been hurt. Christy, the spazzle club is mad at me. Gee, I wonder if it's because you're invited to Phil's party and they're not. <laughs> Christy, neither are you. You can't stick to their level because you're on the same level playing field as them. You're not invited either. You're not even a plus one. You know what I'm saying? You can't put someone down if you're on their same level. It doesn't work like that, Christy. I'm sorry. You can't just keep ignoring the horse like that or it'll go wild. But she never... Then tell Max. Don't just keep it in secret. You need to tell someone who is responsible and has the authority to threaten her to kick her out if she doesn't take authority and responsibility for her own property. What are you doing here? I mean... You're helping Max, I can see that. How long are you staying? You're leaving soon, right? <laughs> no, Phil, we just got here. We're staying for a while. She's perfect! perfect. No, no, Mad. Yeah. Paint, Paint a blaze on her forehead. Groom her properly, fresh out of me, and what have you got? 
I did bring her for, for garnet. Except she's, she's not a trained horse. <laughs> That's the point. I bought four choices. There's this top with these pants. They're totally hot in New York right now. But they're okay. But I thought this party was formal. It is. We're talking big social event. Since when is a barbecue formal? Like when I hear formal, I think, you know, ball gowns, high heels, makeup, false lashes, fake nails. D do you mean smart casual? Is that what you mean? I hope so, because I wouldn't want to say it's formal. Ew, that's so my mother dressed me. What about this? Do you think it's too ordinary? That could be okay. Depends. Are you wearing your hair up or down? You're right. I have to figure that out too. How am I ever going to be ready by Saturday? Am I the only one who ever watched this and thought, what's the fourth option? I need to see the fourth option. <laughs> like, it always bugged me how they never showed the fourth option because I just wanted to see it. What did it look like? Be thinking about what she's wearing, not what she's riding. You're right. By the time she figures it out, she'll already be making a fool of herself in the dressage ring. And maybe, when she rides an out-of-control horse like Nomad, she'll realise how lucky she is to have Garnet. It's perfect! But aren't we forgetting one huge thing? What? How are we going to get Nomad? Hey, Phil! They're also forgetting one other big thing, which I'll mention in a minute. Okay. Like, when I say big thing, I mean bigger than how to get Nomad. No <clears throat> way. We need to borrow your horse. And by your horse, we mean your mum's horse. We have to hide it before the one gets here. Shouldn't the creep be here with Nomad by now? Looks like your creep's right on time. My question is, how did Phil get Nomad to the stables? They live up near the Mount Trail all overnight where they stayed there, which is a little while away. They had to drive there, so obviously it's not in walking distance. Phil is 12. He cannot drive a car, nor can he tow, tow a float. How did no man get to the stables without the mum knowing? Just a little point. Hello? My horse better be tacked up. My lesson starts in five minutes. Three. Get out of my way. You're going to make me late for my private lesson. Do you have to brag every time you have a private lesson? Like, we all know you're rich, you can afford private lessons. But they're not even that much. Like, I know my instructors charge me like a dollar a minute. If I wanted a half an hour lesson, it cost me $30. If I wanted a 45 minute lesson, it cost me $45. If I wanted a 60 minute lesson, it cost me $60. Like, you don't need to brag every time you have a private lesson. Something's wrong. Stable hands did their job for once. <laughs> it's about time we just started paying attention around here. Okay, small vertical first and then the combo. Hey, hold on. What horse are you riding? Notice that now. <laughs> what you were doing, but this was totally irresponsible and dangerous. You're suspended from Pine Hollow for one week. Only a week? They tried to kill me. If you learn to look after your own horse, Veronica. It's In all fairness, he can only suspend um, Lisa and Stevie. Theoretically, he can't suspend Carol as Starlight is there. And Starlight is her responsibility to look after, so he can only suspend Lisa and Stevie in theory. He can suspend Carol from riding, but he can't suspend them from 
being there. Billy, see, this is why I didn't tell you about the party in the first place. I'm sorry, Phil. Anyway, do you guys want to come to the party? I don't know. We'd love to. <laughs> I forgot that happened. <laughs> I was about to say something witty and then that happened. Shouldn't you be gone by now? You're banned from the stables, you know. We wanted to apologize first. We didn't know you were gonna jump. That was totally dangerous. Please, I knew it wasn't Garnet. I just went along with it because Phil was there. Uh-huh. That's what gullible people say. Oh, I only did it, you know, so you feel better. You know, if we go gullible's written on the roof. I only looked just so you could have your pride. She's one of those people. He's from our rival party club. The honour of Pine Hollow was at stake. Sure, Veronica. See you guys on Saturday. You're not inviting them, are you? Yeah, they're helping out with the kids' pony rides. The what? <laughs> yeah, and we're going to dress up too. There's this great cow costume. My mum said she needs someone to help out with the hot dogs. <laughs> Actually, I'm really sorry, Phil. Uh, I completely forgot. I'm busy on the weekend. <laughs> we finished another episode. Yay! If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and also please do subscribe for more. And also please do subs um, and also please do sign the um, petition that I have linked below in the description to release the unreleased Saddle Club music from season 2 and 3. And I will see you next time in the next episode. Bye guys!